Hi guys, I wanted to show you another couple of mods that are definitely worth getting if you've never used them before. These mods will be really good at taking out a lot of the travel and collecting grind that you're going to have, especially if you've done the game, say, multiple times over. You don't really want to do all that again. You just want to get through it quickly. They're great for that. The other thing as well is if you've got a mod like, say, Steampunk, where you have to collect uh, resources, then turn them into Steampunk resources, then turn them into Steampunk Tier 2 resources, it's going to be really useful for that. I mean, at Steampunk, you have to constantly be throwing wood and metal and crystal at it. It makes you able to collect a lot more, a lot quicker, and you actually get to enjoy the mod. So the first of these mods is exactly what it looks like. It's a Stargate. It's freaking cool. You can travel instantaneously across the map. It has functionality where you it will store any uh, gate addresses that your tribe puts down. You can share those gate addresses with allies through a menu click. You can give the gate address out. You can get a shield on the front which works like an iris. So you can stop any incoming wormholes that you don't want. You can also go to the Lost Temple. I don't want to spoil anything with that, but that's like a an area you can go with that. You get jumpers as well. Um, I will say one thing. If you do decide to explore the Lost Temple, you're going to have to craft the rune for it, which just takes any three, any three artifacts from Ark to make it. Um, and you do want to take a second Stargate ZPM. And the ZPMs are what actually power the Stargate. So once you place down a Stargate, I just want to show you that this is how it's placed here. If you're looking at a Stargate and it's the furthest away from you on a foundation, that is then facing your direction. So the wormhole will come out this way. This is, this is the way you'll come out of the wormhole, but you can go into it from any direction. Once you've placed it, you can uh, then put a ZPM in there. It will be powered and you can rename it um, and you can toggle DHD. Now you do get a DHD, which works as you'd expect it, is you can dial with this. But you also get a remote, which takes like one stone to craft. And you can dial with that and go to other places. The actual crafting requirements for this is not... I mean, it, they take a bit, but they're not that bad. Uh, I, I think it's good that they do cost a bit, though, because obviously it's a Stargate, for God's sake. So we've got a ancient bench, which is used to craft everything. Crystal, electronics, and metal, as you can see. And to make the actual Stargate, uh, there we go, uh, that requires crystal, electronics, metal, and obsidian. Not quite the same as the bench. The ZPM takes 50 crystal. And if you want the DHD, that requires one crystal, 50 metal ingot, and 10 obsidian. And we type in Stargate here. You've got the shield here, which requires uh, crystal and silica pearls. Really useful that if you want a PvP server. You can get an admin spawn gate as well, uh, which makes a public gate that anyone can go to, which is awesome. If you don't, if you don't want other people to be able to set this up, but you want to have this functionality functionality on a server you're setting up, that's definitely the way to go. Now, the reason this can be particularly cheaty, apart from the fact you can go directly across the map, is that you could potentially put one of these on a saddle. So you could, for example, spawn a parasite in a dungeon. Put one of these on a saddle and people can go in and out of that dungeon however they, however they want to get in there. So that is the real cheaty aspect of it. Now the second of these mods is a stacking mod. Uh, the one I'm going to link down below is going to stack me more. That's the one that I find the most useful but there are more stacking mods. Now the thing to know about stacking mods is that they do actually change the resource in the game so if you already collect a load of resources and you put the stacking mod on there you'll still be able to craft things but those original resources won't stack everything you collect after that will stack and what they generally tend to do is they will increase the amount you can stack a mod a, a mod a resource but as you can see they also change the weight so for example that's well that's more than one and a half stacks then it's only 32 weight on me Right, so and that's essentially all that does. I don't really need to talk about that. It just allows you to collect more on a dino, hold more before it gets too heavy, or yourself before it gets too heavy. It just makes making big constructions or big mod requirements, just makes that a little bit easier to do. So the last thing I want to do, I just want to show you how this Stargate works because it looks so damn cool. So let's move a little bit off to the side here so we can really see it. I'm going to land him. Right, and we'll use this remote, which literally costs one stone to do. And, oh, I don't know, we'll go over to, uh, well, we've got a taming and hatching place. So, 
so freaking cool. Now you don't actually have to wait for this sequence to go through, but I just wanted to give you the full experience. Like, it, it really does look so cool. Don't worry, that doesn't kill you if you stand in front of it. Although I think it should. Right, okay, and now you can just go travel through here. And now if someone were, for example, calling your gate when you didn't want them to, and you didn't have that uh, prevent them from being able to access uh, your uh, gate, or you didn't want to have prevent incoming calls, you can just right click and do disconnect. Like I said, through the menu there, you can rename the gate, and it will automatically put it on your tribe stuff. You can share it with allies through the gate menu. In fact, I'll show you that. If there's nothing too nasty around here. There we go. You see, you can share this with allies. Um, you do have to have the CPM in there. Uh, you can rename the Stargate, uh, Force Disconnect, No Shield, etc. And now you can actually go through the gate without it going for the sequence. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna press nine here and we'll go back home. And the minute you hear this sequence going through, you can travel through. So it's all down to how you want to do it. Now, the last couple of bits of functionality I want to show you here is... Um, let's uh, disconnect. Obviously, it is a one-way travel, so you can't go back for the wormhole you just went through because it works like Stargate. We'll go through to the Metal Resources place. You can pick up creatures and take them through. Wild creatures won't just go through the Stargate, um, so your creatures can go through, but any wild creatures that you're holding, you can take through the Stargate. So as you see, I'm doing this. And if you just wanted to use it to say, tame something, say you saw a really nice creature you wanted, you pick it up, dial home, go in, drop it in your taming pen, you're ready to go. button there, let me do that, right, I'm just going to go and drop this Anki at home, or drop it on top of the gate apparently, cool, that that was just, yeah, I wouldn't have done that if I tried, so I'm sure you can see how this could be quite cheaty, well it is quite cheaty, the fact you can go straight across the map, and the fact you can collect so many resources and there's so much less, I mean, that Anki has something like 800 weight, and I can collect easily 3,000 crystal on him, easily 3,000 metal, which, and I can carry, and still carry it back on the RG. So, yeah, I mean, that is really breaking what the, the vanilla limit should be. But then again, once you've gone through the vanilla, like, even twice, you just get to the point where I can't be asked to do that again. I just want to get to the fun stuff. Let me take my Rexes and Gigas and Wivens and stuff. That, yeah, this is the mod for you. Um, also, like I said, steampunk and things like that, uh, they do tend to require a lot of resources. Prometheus, um, let me think, oh, what, what's the Anunnaki called nowadays? Extinction Call, I think. Um, things like that, I would say these are very good additions to you without you necessarily having to say have something really cheaty on there or have the multipliers uber high. You can just have them on, say, a little bit, a little bit more, or the same ones, and you'll be able to just collect more and negate a lot of those uh, needs on there. But also, like I said, with the Stargate, that can make it a really good community thing. So you could have a set of public Stargates if you were setting it up as an admin, um, or if you're working, say, as a, a community of tribes, you can set up public things uh, for everyone to use. And yeah, it just makes life a, a lot more fun. I think it really adds a lot of fun to it. And it stops you having to travel for like 15 minutes just to get across the map, even on with on like Ragnarok or on the volcano. I mean, you're traveling forever to get across that map. Right, guys, I hope you found this useful. I hope you're going to enjoy them if you try them out. Have fun. Catch you all soon. Bye.